Hello, class. Hello, Michelle. Um, we are back at SPED 630, uh, Curriculum and Instruction for Students with uh, Mal Ma Disabilities. Uh, this is Rodney Robinson again. Um, today, I'm looking at my uh, lesson plan uh, reflection and wanted to uh, go over uh, some of the highlights and some of the uh, observations and reflections I made uh, relating to my lesson plan. Uh, I'm going to bring up my lesson plan to share uh, a review of my lesson plan. Uh, this is from uh, one of my uh, observations, one of the lesson plans I did uh, as an observation for uh, the curriculum of uh, uh, the field service uh, seminar. Uh, and so I'm going to share my screen here and uh, I did a lesson plan uh, on uh, U.S. government. Uh, this is a co-taught class with uh, Mr. Sheffer, who uh, is the general education instructor and teacher for the course. And for this lesson, this uh, lesson primarily focused in on systems of government. Uh, we focus on uh, the citizenship, uh, U.S. citizenship questions. So we do uh, full coverage of those questions in the class. This is a 12th grade U.S. government class, so all of the students are seniors, and so there's quite a bit of content that must be covered, a lot of direct instruction, uh, a lot of uh, memor memorization, unfortunately, that must be done uh, in this material. So some of those things are items that I want to reflect on and hopefully find ways to adjust that uh, going forward. Uh, so uh, for my uh, standard for this uh, government class, uh, the, uh, let me scroll down here, the actual standard, that's right, the system will cooperate with me. error message on the screen, which I do apologize. Um, while, while it is uh, uploading, uh, the standard that's uh, being covered is determining meaning of words and phrases uh, in terms of identifying specifically words relating to uh, the U.S. government, uh, items like uh, representatives, uh, things like vetoes, uh, bills, um, identifying who the uh, president uh, is, who the vice president is, and so forth, identifying um, what uh, representatives, uh, who elects uh, representatives for a particular state, how many uh, representatives do uh, states have, and uh, why, does, uh, why are there so many representatives um, for uh, a given state, why do some states have more representatives than others, and so as a result, these are the types of uh, concepts that we're trying to um, communicate to students and hopefully uh, have them develop a good understanding of uh, the U.S. Uh, government. So again, determining the meaning of words and phrases, um, including uh, the connotations, technical meanings, and specifically as a race of things like uh, sync um, uh, uh, will be used for another uh, uh, commander in chief, uh, we use that as an acronym uh, to represent uh, the president of the United States. Things that students may not necessarily be familiar with, exposing them to uh, that type of terminology so that they're uh, ex uh, understanding what that means. For the vice president, using uh, terms like VEEP uh, to represent the vice president. Some of the things that uh, might not necessarily be uh, at the top of mind for students, but things that they should be familiar with as they are about to graduate from high school, and many of them, uh, if not this election year, uh, the four years from now, they'll be uh, voting for president, voting for their representatives, and so forth. Uh, so uh, that's the main uh, standard. Uh, when it comes to uh, the assessment, I do feel like the assessments are very uh, focused on memorization, and uh, unfortunately, that is a major part because there's so much content uh, that needs to be uh, disseminated. And so as a result, uh, there are uh, assessments that focus a lot on memorization, like uh, what amendment uh, was responsible for making sure that the president does not have a term greater 
uh, and then two terms or uh, eight years. Um, and in terms of the 22nd Amendment and things of that nature, these are things that students must uh, remember uh, in order to answer those questions. And so there is heavy direct instruction uh, in, uh, in the lessons. And part of this particular lesson was a review session for a, an assessment that would be given uh, on that uh, subsequent uh, Friday. So uh, there was a heavy dosage of uh, making sure students understood the terms, but also making sure they were able to apply the terms. So that was also important as well. I, I do uh, think the assessments are in alignment with the standards. Uh, however, I do believe that there is opportunity for me to work uh, with my co-teacher in terms of making those assessments uh, drill a little bit more deeper into uh, the higher order thinking uh, processes and things of that nature. So it's something that uh, the co-teacher and I can work on. Um, and uh, with that being said, uh, when it comes to uh, does the lesson contribute to student success on the assessment, I did find that the lesson did just that because it reiterated some of the things that we had covered in prior lessons. And on top of that, the results of the assessments were relatively good. Um, students that were engaged during the lesson, I found that on the assessment, they did a, a very good job. So that was a, a pleasant surprise. So the uh, alignment of the lesson with the assessment, I think went very well. I do still feel there's opportunity to build on that and maybe uh, incorporate some other elements because most of the answers are short answer uh, assessments for answering short answer, maybe including uh, some type of uh, explanation uh, within uh, the answers to add more of a higher order thinking process and whether to connect the concepts with other uh, concepts that they uh, deal with in other classes, integrating their learning would also be uh, another opportunity. Uh, in terms of the weighting of the grade book, um, I do know that uh, the co teacher. Uh, who's the general education teacher, does not weight uh, the assessments. That's definitely something I think uh, in looking at uh, this reflection, I think that's something to consider uh, is making uh, these are more points uh, or, or weighted because they are worth more points in the grade book. So in a sense, they are uh, weighted uh, heavily. So I think it's a combination of whether or not to weight the assessment or to give it more points. And I think giving it more points in a way uh, does weigh, weigh it more. So I think it'd be on the, on the right track uh, with that as well. So overall, uh, I believe the lesson was uh, very successful. I do believe there's opportunities to build some type of group element into the lesson so that students are able to interact with each other about the lesson. And so that's something that the co-teacher and I are working through. So um, still opportunity for, for growth and development uh, with the lesson. Uh, thank you again for listening. Uh, have a great day. See you soon.